Hello, and welcome to this part of the pond of the Bullfrog Reviews, Clean Shaven Goatee Edition. <laughs> and I just watched Netflix's Castlevania. And ooh, the brutality of it. It is brutal, but we'll get to that later. Castlevania, what is it about? Well, it's about, it's actually based off of a Nintendo video game that came out during the late 80s and it's been going on since then with video games. And they, and Netflix, Nintendo, and some people got together and said, let's do, let's do a, a epic cartoon of this. Not meant for little kids. It's rated MA for a reason, people. Oh my goodness, it is. And, well, with that background aside, what's this about? Dracula, of course. Ah, uh ah. -uh. But this Dracula isn't like the Netflix show Dracula I did earlier this year. This Dracula is more boss and more in-depth. What happened with this guy? Well, a human woman wooed the heartless Dracula to the point where he fell in love, had a ch they had a child, and the big guy gave her knowledge. And with that knowledge, she went across Europe, give, delivering to the world medicine. But this is close to the medieval ages, where the church is absolutely corrupt. So... Doomed. Burned as a witch. Dracula gets unleashed and decides to wage war against mankind. Who's gonna be our hero? Well, we have ourselves this unlikely trio. We got ourselves Trevor Belmont, born of a bloodline of a family that's historical, famous for tearing down demons and vampires and werewolves. And they got excommunicated by the Catholic Church because of that tradition. To the point where they're going, you're probably just as bad as those guys. I don't trust you anymore. Gone. So finally will. Gone. Prestige. Gone. His name is a curse. So he's going around, wandering to bar to bar, hoping for a drink. But could this man be our hero? But remember, he's not alone. We also have the mysterious character named Alucard, where you meet and learn his history with Dracula. How intriguing is this man? And we have ourselves Cypher, or Cipher. Siri? Siri? Well, there's a S in her name. And she, what is she? She's a speaker of nomad, part of a nomad people that go around throughout Europe. And she is a spell weaver. Ooh. So these three t bound together in f acquaintanceship must tear down Dracula. Can I, need I say more people? Like I said, this animated show is brutal. It's not meant for little kids at all. If you have the stomach for brutality, this is it. This is it, people. And I'm not a fan of brutality, but they do it in such a way that it's almost that it looks so wrong. I shouldn't I shouldn't be glorifying this, but it looks so right. <laughs> Season 1 is the setup. Season 2, glorious. Where you meet new characters, new a plot thickens. Season three is the aftermath of season two. And season three just barely came out. And it's, I think, probably the weakest of the three. But it leaves you open for like five or seasons, maybe. And you want more. I want more. But season three also has episode nine. You have to fast forward. You're having this beautiful fight scene. It's epic. It's brutal. You're just, ooh. Why? Fast forward. Ooh, ooh. Smut. Fast forward. Ooh. 
You're in the climax of this fight scene, and you cut away to smut? No! Just stay on the fight. Stay on the glorious fight. Oh. <laughs> it's not my cup of tea. I mean, this is rated M.A. for a reason. I watch season one and two. Season two, I think, is the best. It tickled my heartstrings. It it did cliches that are dear to my that are dear to my heart. I there's some cliches, people. I'm sorry. Do it as much as you want. I don't care. I still love it. <laughs> it was good. The music is good. The writing is good. I liked it a lot. Again, season three, it kind of falters a bit. But everything else is good. I liked it a lot. And where would I put this? Rating from one out of seven. Hmm, well, what is... Why do I rate one out of seven? We need that odd number. We need a middle number. And that magic number is four, because one, two, three, five, six, seven. Four is in the middle. But that aside, where would I put this? It was good. I liked it a lot. But there was some season three weakness. And I hope this goes to a better spot. I mean, the way how they structured season three, weak as it was, I couldn't help but commend. I mean, it begins brighter. You're actually laughing harder in season three. But at the end, you kind of realize why. And you're going, you're heartless people. You're heartless. Now I'm going to question anything that has the name Castlevania. Because why? Oh, it's bright. It has, at the beginning, it's going to be making me laugh. <gasps> oh, wait a minute. It's making me laugh. It's at the beginning of the season. I need my antidepressants. It's going to have a harsh ending again. Why? <laughs> why? Not in a bad way. Like, why did you do that? Memorial ends up. Why? You already have me hooked and you got the hook deeper. I need to wait till next year. Mm. Mm. Where would I put this? One out of seven? Where one, I would rather... I would rather not pay attention. That sounded wrong. Did it. Sorry. Unscripted and, lo and loving it. Basically, one is... I would rather watch Mary Kate and Ashley Marathon than watch this show where seven is Larry on High, baby. I could watch this over and over again and never get sick. Where would I put this? I would I would give it a five. Is it because of the season three? Not really. Season three, yeah. And there's episode nine. You just fast get ready to fast forward. And it's just that there's a... I'm not a fan of Brutalities, but they did it good. But it's not really my cup of tea. But I still loved it. I still liked it a lot. But I would give it a 5 out of 7. And... <laughs> let's see what Season 4 and 5 does. Because if those can actually bring it back up higher. I mean, there's still potential. There's still hope. And don't let me down, people. This got hypes up. And the movie that came after it, our hype was a little too up. And it looked bad. So, season three, you got it. You looked, you put a bar up, and season four has to add on. So, yeah, this is that's the Bullfrog review. Where? Netflix's Castlevania. Five out of seven. And this is the Bullfrog signing out. Ah!